Good day students! In this video, we will discuss examples in determining standard form of the equation of parabola and we will graph it afterwards. Let us now proceed to example number 1. For instance, we have the given of vertex at origin or 0, 0 and focus at 0, negative 3. Let us now discuss the solution. Since we know that the focus is now at 0, negative 3, so from the vertex, which is 0, 0, we can say that it traveled 3 units downwards. So that would be in terms of y. So we can say that the focal distance, denoted as p, will now be negative 3. Next, let us identify the opening of the parabola. So since the focal distance is in negative, we can say that the parabola opens downward. So let us go back to the summary table and let us determine what would be the equation of the directrix if we are expecting a parabola that opens downward. So that is y is equal to negative p. This is from the summary table. So let us substitute the value of our p. So we have y is equal to the negative of p. So we have negative 3 as p. Then we simplify. So this will be y is equal to positive 3. And that would be the equation of our directrix. Next, let's go to equation. So from the summary table of parabola, we have x squared is equal to 4py. This is the standard form of parabola in the summary table 1. So we will substitute the focal distance for p. So we will now have x squared is equal to 4 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by y. And then we will simplify. So we have x squared is equal to 4 multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 12 multiplied by y. So since we cannot do anything about this anymore, and therefore, this will be our standard form of the given parabola. Next, let us try to find the endpoints of the latus recto. So from the summary table number 1, so LR sub 1 would be 2P comma P, then LR sub 2, we have negative 2P comma P. So in here, we are going to substitute the focal distance negative 3. So let us start. First, we have LR sub 1. So we have 2 multiplied by negative 3 comma negative 3. So we have substituted negative 3 for P. So it will become 2 multiplied by negative 3, we have negative 6, comma, copy negative 3 since there is no operation involved. Next, let's proceed to LR sub 2. So we have negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, comma, negative 3. Then let us simplify. So we have negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. That is positive 6, comma, just copy negative 3. And this will be the endpoints of our latus recto. Now, let us proceed to graphing the parabola. We will plot all the points that we have computed, including the given. So we will start the vertex at 0, 0. Next, the focus at 0, negative 3. So, we will travel 3 units downward. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, the endpoints of our latus rectum, those are negative 6, negative 3. So, that would be found here. And then, the other one, that is positive 6, negative 3. Go to the other side. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, 1, 2, 3. This is LR sub 2. 
with the use of these points, we can now sketch our parabola from the vertex. So, from the vertex going to LR sub 1, this is how it behaves. Then, vertex going to LR sub 2. And that would be our parabola. Next, let us plot the directrix. So, that is y is equal to 3. So, it is on top of the vertex. So, we will count 3 units away from the vertex going up. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this is where our directrix landed. So, just sketch the line. Do not forget that directrix must be represented through a broken line. And then, for our axis of symmetry, simply the middlemost part. So, it will go through your vertex and focus. There. So, let us not forget the names of the point and the lines. So, we have the directrix. So, we have D. Y is equal to 3. That is our computed earlier. Next, this is the vertex, 0, 0. And this is the focus, F, 0, negative 3. And then, for our lattice rectum, we have LR sub 1. That is negative 6, negative 3. Then, LR sub 2, we have 6, negative 3. Then, our axis of symmetry, that is y axis or y is equal to 0. It means the same thing. Then, do not forget the name of the parabola, which is x squared is equal to negative 12y. And there you have it. Next, example number 2. We have the given vertex at origin. So, 0, 0. And focus at 0, 2. now proceed to example number 3. We have the given of vertex at 2, 3 and focus at 2, 4. So let us now discuss the solution. So since the vertex is at 2, 3 and the focus is at 2, 4, it means it traveled one unit in terms of y going up. So we can say that the focal distance, denoted as p, will now be 1. Next, from the given vertex 2, 3, we will let h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3. After that, let us determine the opening of our parabola. Since we know that the focal distance is p is equal to 1, it means it is in positive state. Therefore, we are expecting a parabola that opens upward. So if that's the case, let's go to the summary table number 3 and see the pattern of the equation of its directrix. 
From the summary table number 3, the equation of our directrix will be y is equal to k minus p. Let us substitute the value of our k and p in this equation. So we will now have y is equal to 3, the value of our k, minus 1, the value of our p. Next, we will simplify. So we will now have y is equal to to 2. And this will be the equation of our directrix. Next, let us determine the equation in standard form of our given parabola. So, from the summary table number 3, we have x minus h squared is equal to 4p multiplied by y minus k. Let us substitute the value of h, k, and p to the given equation. So we will now have x minus 2 squared is equal to 4 multiplied by p, which is 1, multiplied by y minus k, and that is 3. Then let us simplify. So for x minus 2, we will we can no longer simplify this one, so it will remain as x minus 2 squared is equal to 4 multiplied by 1, that is 4, then quantity y minus 3. And this will be the equation of our parabola in standard form. Next, let us try to find the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So, from the summary table number 3, we have LR sub 1 at H plus 2P comma K plus P. On the other hand, we have LR sub 2 that is at H minus 2P comma K plus P. And here, we will just substitute the value of H, K, and P. So, let's do first the LR sub 1. So, H, that is 2, plus 2, P, our P is 1, comma, K, we have 3, plus P, that is 1. Then, let us simplify. We have 2 plus Two multiplied by 1, we have 2, then comma 3 plus 1. Then let us add. We have 2 plus 2 is 4, comma 3 plus 1 is 4. And this will be our LR sub 1. Next, let's go to LR sub 2. So again, we have H, that is 2, minus 2P, that is 1, comma K, which is 3, plus P, which is 1. Then, let us simplify. We have 2 minus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, comma, 3 plus 1. So, simplify again. We have 2 minus 2, that would be 0, comma, 3 plus 1 is 4. And this will be our LR sub 2. Next, let us determine the axis of symmetry. So, from the summary table number 3, we have x is equal to h. And this will be the equation of our axis of symmetry. So, substitute h, we have x is equal to 2. And that will now be our axis of symmetry. Now, let us graph the given parabola so, to graph, let us plot all the points that we have computed and the given. So, we will start at the vertex, which can be found at 2, 3. So, we will count 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, this will be the location of our vertex, that is 2, 3. Then, focus at 2, 4. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, that is F, 2, 4. 
then the endpoints of our latus rectum. So for LR sub 1, we have 4, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, we have LR sub 1, 4, 4. Then for LR sub 2, we have 0, 4. So here 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be our LR sub 2, 0, 4. Next, we can now sketch our graph. So from the vertex going to LR sub 2, that is how it behaves. Then from the vertex going to LR sub 1, that is how it behaves. Okay, and that is our parabola. And let us complete by plotting our directrix that would be found at y is equal to 2. So that is 1, 2 here. And it must be represented as a broken line. Next, our axis of symmetry. And this is the middlemost part of our parabola. So that is x is equal to 2. So here, also a broken line. That is our axis of symmetry, x is equal to 2. And our directrix, d, y is equal to 2. So after that, let us not forget the name of our parabola in standard form. That is, the quantity of x minus 2 squared is equal to 4 multiplied by y minus 3. And that's it. Next, example number 4. We have the given of vertex at negative 1, negative 2, and focus at negative 1, negative 4. 